Hey, Mr. Parker here to review two shorts that I picked up at Cinema Wasteland. Uh, the director of these shorts is uh, Torin Landon, I believe is how he pronounces his name. He was there. He's a really uh, cool kid. He's actually really young, a lot, uh, younger than me. That's all I know. And he's already been uh, way more successful than I'll ever be in at least making movies. But anyways, his double feature by Candle Flame Films is uh, Case Study 2, Hide and Seek. I have not watched the first one. And uh, Trash. i actually seen parts of Trash on YouTube. It's been a long time, though, so when it popped in, I was like, oh, I, I think I saw parts of this one. Uh, the DVD consider has two commentary tracks and storyboard comparison. I'll send a link below uh, if you guys want to buy it. I'll try to find out if you can. Uh, Case Study 2 is 15 minutes long, and Trash is uh, 12 minutes long. I'll start with Case Study 2. It definitely looks uh, kind of like a student film, uh, for sure. The acting is all right. But uh, I must say that the best thing that this one has going for is definitely a cinematography and the choices of shots he chooses. I think that they look very professional and they were all well thought out. I mean, he'll have a uh, focal point, like zoom points will go down and we'll focus on one thing and then change to another thing and you won't realize what's behind it. Just just kind of uh, artsy kind of shots that were uh, very impressive for his age and it shows a lot of potential. The story of Case Study 2 is is a, you know, a friend kind of goes crazy and attacks other friend. It's kind of like a chase story. Uh, it's kind of weird because it takes place in Canada and it, two characters out of the three, four characters in there, one, they have guns and it's kind of, I was under the impression that Canada's hard to get a, a firearm. And oh, there's just small bits that uh, they couldn't obviously budget constraints. They couldn't shoot out the window. At that point, the character probably would have just shot out the window. But really, as far as I'm concerned, for a 15 minute short, uh, it gets this point across, it gets the story across. Really no gore, like I said, it doesn't really need it. Uh, and it's pretty uh, success. It's pretty well done. I mean, like I said, the cinematography is the driving point on that one for sure. Uh, as far as trash is concerned, I, I prefer trash more because I think it's more of a, a fun story for me. I, it's a kid home alone and uh, somebody's attacking him, and I just think it's it's a lot more fun. The opening is really cool too, and I like the I like the shot that they choose when they open the bags to look what's in it. They actually have the bag looking up at you like that. And uh, the opening scene, uh, somebody comes up behind one of the characters and does him in after he looks in the bag. Uh, I thought that was really cool. And I also thought that the, uh, the pan shot going across the uh, kind of the neighborhood was also cool to set the mood. And the score in there had a nice little score reminiscent of like older films that uh, we all know and love. And I thought that this one showed that uh, true potential that he could possibly have. And I thought that it was a really just fun, short, and cool little horror movie with, again, not much gore, but uh, I think it's budget constraints. It just had a lot of... Uh, a lot more atmosphere and uh, just a lot more fun than the other one. I, I preferred the trash. Uh, as maybe Case Study 2 is more professionally well done. I think that trash is a lot more fun and uh, captures a better atmosphere. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, uh, seeing uh, the up and coming uh, filmmakers, you know, he's from Canada, then check it out. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of shorts and, uh, you know, looking at uh, to see new directors popping up or younger people making films is always cool because it's something I never did. Uh, I, you know, another fellow Canadian. Uh, young director is Seb Godin. I'm just I'm just shocked that, you know, these people are, are actually making movies and they're this young and they're actually not bad. But yeah, I, I would uh, probably recommend Trash. I think it's really fun. I don't know if it has a YouTube link or not. Maybe that can just send you guys the YouTube links if you guys don't want to purchase this or I'll send you both links, whatever you guys want to do. I'm not sure how much shipping from Canada would be, but if you guys are interested, check them out. I did not watch it with a commentary because they're both short films and I figured that watching it with commentary, I didn't want to repeat what he would say. I don't like to repeat anything else that the director says because then it's just more like a rehab. I just think it's silly, and they're two shorts. I don't have much to talk about in that many uh, short films, so I didn't watch the commentaries. They had storyboards in there, which uh, were actually uh, looked pretty professional for storyboards. I mean, not too super detailed, but you get the point across. But yeah, this is uh, Trash and Case Study 2, Hide and Seek. Uh, the review is going to be short and sweet, obviously, like the uh, movies, because can't talk forever about shorts. I don't want a review being longer than one of the shorts. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.